Looks like Amber's broke, man. She out here shopping at TJ Maxx. Hey, there's nothing wrong with da -da 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 TJ Maxx. Do you guys remember those intros? Uh, well, let's get into it. It's your JC News for June, June 20th, Monday, 2022. Happy Juneteenth, y'all. What's up? This is Method Man right here. Yes, I have a mask on because I care. Welcome to Jody's Corner. YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. Thank you guys so very much for being here. I am Jody Joe. This is Amber Heard shopping at TJ Maxx discount rack. Oh, 67% off. Hey, Amber. TMZ caught Amber in a Hampton, New York, TJ Maxx. Uh, it wasn't TMZ. This was sold to TMZ. So there was a random shopper like, is that Amber Heard? And they took pictures of Amber, right? As you see right here, going through that rack at the department store shopping at TJ Maxx. Listen, I'm not a snob. Ain't nothing wrong with TJ Maxx. I shop at TJ Maxx, especially uh, their counterpart, Home Goods. Home Goods got some of that fire, and they should be expensive sometimes too. So I shop at, I'll shop at Ross, DD Discounts, TJ Maxx, Pick and Save. Oh my bad, uh, Big Lots, Kmart. If there was any more left, Walmart, Target, Radio Shack. Basically anything that comes from China, you can pretty much believe that I've shopped there or will shop there or continue to shop there. So I ain't even trying to throw smoke at Amber. But Amber, wasn't you? <laughs> Aquaman. <laughs> I'm laughing, bro, because it's nice to see her in here like regular folk living the humble life, shopping at TJ Maxx. Look, here's another shot of her right here looking around like, oh, what else do we have? TJ Maxx got the purple sign. They can't even print out their own sign. Purple sign. Random shoes on the rack. Listen, we all know that she got to pay like $13 million to Johnny Depp for her defamation suit for being a lying sack of shit, right? Even though that looks good to me, seeing her have to shop at TJ Maxx, I'm not stupid. I wouldn't put it past this diabolical bitch. To try and come in here with a fake person with a camera, take photographs like she's at TJ Maxx, have that random person send it to TMZ, pretending to be a stranger, just so Amber could look good and we could feel sad for her because she's shopping at TJ Maxx. And that's what I believe. Amber, you're back to your bullshit again. I don't feel sorry for you. You set this up. This is a 100% setup. You know how I know? Because this picture is too clean. You can't just roll up on Amber without her seeing it and noticing it. That shot is way too clean. Position dead in the middle. Going through the clothes rack. Looking down. This shit looked like a freaking TMZ commercial. Sponsored by Amber Heard. I ain't falling for this shit. Let me know in the comment section if you falling for this type of shit. Because I ain't. In other news, Jennifer Lopez. She had a daughter perform with her on stage i think it was for the super bowl show i could be wrong or maybe many years back on a big stage and now her daughter's performing on stage again i know you're like so where's the news jody oh my bad i forgot to let me show you guys where the news is okay so here's her performing on stage with her daughter for the first time looking delicious as j-lo does you know what i'm saying yeah 2020 super bowl here we are two Two years later, she's performing with her daughter again. Check it out. She might look a little different to you, huh? That's the daughter now. Yeah, look like a whole boy. That's right. Because J-Lo this time around has come out and used this uh, time to bring her daughter out who looks like Justin Bieber's best friend from around the way and introduce her as they, them. So it's a coming out for her daughter who's now part of the LGBTQ community and her mother supporting her daughter and shedding it, showing it to the world. Like, look at her. So number one, I don't have a problem with her daughter being gay and stuff like that and coming out being, wait, is this, is this considered trans? 
I think she's trans. She might be transitioning out. Yeah, that's transition because she looks like a straight dude. So she's transitioning what appears into a, a boy. And I have no problem with her mother supporting that. The issue that I have, ladies and gentlemen, and it's always something that I've talked about. Who gives a shit about her coming out as a boy besides her and her mother and her friends? Why are you putting this on the global stage? I showed up to pay for a JLo ticket to listen to you sing. And you're bringing your daughter's son on stage. They, them. Look at, oh, by the way, my, 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 my daughter's a son now. And she doesn't, she will never suck a cock, but she'll eat pussy now from this time. Forward. Who gives a shit? I don't care. The problem that I've always had is that it's not about them just being gay or trans. They want to say, look, I'm gay. I'm trans. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I don't care about that. Who gives a shit? Because there is an agenda. There is a promotion of it. They want to promote it. They want other people to join it. And I feel like, look at me. I, do you, do you, do I? It's like me said, uh, pro, pro fat. Look at me. I'm fat, 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 fat. Show, give fat people rights. Fat people, fat people. We need rights. We need to be in the magazines. We, I ain't doing that shit. Black, 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 black. Yo, I'm black. I'm black. I'm black, black, black. That shit don't got nothing to do with me reviewing a movie like The Revenant or some shit. I don't know. What does me what does me having to bring that up have anything? It doesn't. And that type of stuff annoys me. And it just further proves that there's an agenda out there to convert, promote, and display this behavior and put it onto people who might not even want it put onto them. This is just a private moment that should really be celebrated within the privacy of their own home because you're talking about one's sexual preference and gender identity. What the heck, man? You'll show, it's weird, because J-Lo, you're a hypocrite. You'll sit up, and you will show and parade your daughter in front of millions of people. Look, she likes girls now, but she's a boy now, so she's they or them. And you'll put that private, intimate moment and exploit your daughter. But then you'll get upset at the paparazzi for taking a photo of you and Ben at a restaurant to see who you're dating? Get the freak out of here. You're both celebrities, you and Ben Affleck. That comes part of the job. This right here is not. So it just shows you how hypocritical people are. And it's really, really annoying. In other news, this motherfucker, Ezra Miller, is trash. He is a child molester, in my opinion. He's a pedophile. I think he's sick in the freaking head. And he's to be dismissed from movies and thrown in a goddamn jail cell. And this freaking comic book cover that's being issued for the release of the Flashpoint, which is happening next year because it was delayed because he's a woman-beating piece of shit, Makes me sick to my stomach. Get your booty clapping self up out of here. Look at this cover. You got the motherfucking Batman just leave, and you sit here getting into your suit with your cheeks out. Don't nobody want to see your naked body once again. You're bringing your sexuality and your personal preferences to the character. Flash is a superhero not to be besmirched and paraded around like a dude, a weirdo at a freaking parade, a gay parade with your open hole. Somebody's behind you and can see Flash's open butthole. That shit open. He, if Ezra Miller is, is gay. Got no problem with gays. I got a lot of gay subscribers. Sus gang all day. Let's go. But this is inappropriate, bro. Kids look at these heroes. They watch these comic books. This is very, this is not what the Flash would do. This is what Ezra Miller would do. And this is some bullshit, bro. Ezra, you be getting your hole bashed out by all type of different sizes of white poles and BBCs. Your hole probably is in a resting position like this, bro. You probably can't even take a duck. You probably got shit stains all in your drawers. Matter of fact, you ain't even wearing drawers, bro. Because when you got to take a dump, that shit just ooze out. Your hole is so gaped. And you're showing your naked butt to probably some kids, some freaking adults, are looking at your intestines from the back because your hole is gaped, bro. <laughs> Ezra... That's some nasty shit. I don't give a shit about it. I don't care what you put in your butt or your mouth. But when you put that costume on and you got that flash costume in the shot with you, dog, and you're trying to be a hero and you got this shit looking like this, bro, your butt naked getting to Nobody give a shit about this. Post. And this, this writer, this illustrator, you're trash too, bro. The Flash, The Fastest Man Alive, number one, a prequel come. I'm not reading this shit because I was going to read it. It's an intriguing art of Ezra Miller's hero streaking naked as he suits up to become the Scarlet Speedster, bro. Trash, bro. Trash. 
Man, who wrote this shit, bro? Here it is. Illustrated by the Andy Muschietti. You really, dog? Oh, fuck. Oh, Andy. L, Andy. L, Andy. He's the director of the movie. L, fuck. Oh, shit. Hey, bro, this is not a good look, bro. Bringing the, the, the actor's sexuality to the character is wrong. Flash is a straight man. He's a, uh, a upstanding a human being, a citizen, a hero. He's a professional. He would never be bent over with his hole out butt naked like that. I feel like it's a it's a nasty it's a nasty look, and it's not good for the character. That's my take. What's yours? In other news, niggas can't have shit, bro. We have some breaking news: gunfire erupting at a crowded Juneteenth celebration in downtown Washington, D.C. tonight. One person was killed. Several others were injured, including a, including a police officer who was shot. Investigators say two separate fights between party goers sparked the initial gunfire. That triggered a massive stampede as hundreds scattered in all directions. A 15-year-old boy was killed. A D.C. police officer was shot in the leg. At least two others were rushed to the hospital. The shooters are still on the loose tonight. 15-year-old killed. Police officer shot in the leg. Two independent separate fights broke out. Now listen, I don't know who they are, what color they were, or anything. But here's what I'm thinking. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, it's Juneteenth. Listen, I got two. I have two explanations. I'm going to put an opinion out there where it's going to be like, oh, Jody Davis, or you were wrong. And I don't mind being wrong. I'm just throwing an estimation out there. Two possibilities. Racist white people were also there trying to protest against Juneteenth. Black people fought him and shots was fired and black boy, 15 year old who I believe is black, died. Number two, niggas, when niggas gather up in crowds of above a thousand, some fights is about to go down and niggas can't have shit. And that's the opinion that I'm taking. It's really easy to say this was racially motivated. It's possible. It is not, it's even logical to think that, but that's not the position that I'm going to choose to take here with my own life experiences. Here in LA, we have the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade. Martin Luther King Jr. is the beacon for civil rights. He's the reason why we have freedoms in this country as black people. And every god dang year in January, we have a parade and this nigga's shooting and this nigga's fighting. The beaches come out with their buddy boot cheeks clapping out. They twerking. Niggas is gang banging. Where you from, blood? Where you from, cuz? Ba, ba, ba. I know from personal experience that when a gang of niggas get together and there's bitches involved, niggas go on a flex and gangbangers go on a gangbang. And that's exactly what probably happened here in D.C., bro. Niggas can't have shit. Niggas fought. Niggas shot. Niggas ran. Niggas died. This is some cold shit, bro. But it's the world we live in. And that's the position that I'm taking. Do an update, do an update on this news yourself. I don't know the colors of the people. The, those details will later emerge. But that's the position I'm taking based off of real world experience. I hope I'm wrong. But I'm probably not. That's your news for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching Jody's Corner. Make sure you click the bell. I only got 15% of my subscribers. No, I'm sorry. 10% of my subscribers have notifications on. And people wonder why I don't, I don't get alerts. Let me tell you where you guys are messing up. The notification bell, you probably have clicked. Click it on all. In your phone settings, in your iPhone or your Android, if you don't have on the YouTube app, allow notifications. If you don't do that on your phone in the settings, you won't get notifications. And that's where y'all messing up and not getting any alerts. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out this thing, man. Deuces!